Uh, make an average computer's test to check, discover the presence or location of recording or espionage devices within medium range. Um, done. Yep. Oh, you turned this knobby here and it makes a beepy noise. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't think we want the beepy noise. No, we don't want the beepy noise. Beepy oh, noise no, is bad. No, 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 okay, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, here's the, <laughs> on the beepy noise. No, he's got a flashy light. Uh, let's Medium range. I'm, I'm looking up how big the ship is because you might want to um, walk around a little bit in it. it. It's probably not medium range. The ship is probably smaller than that. Don't don't worry. I can roll around really fast. Yeah, I'm I'm just wondering, like you know, what is medium range? Because it's probably a couple. I think that's like up to a few dozen meters. It I can be like up I'm... to several dozen meters. Hmm. Okay, so we're all aboard the ship, right? Yes. 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 And I'm turning on the ship and getting ready to launch once we have okay, clearance. Gray, what trap are you about to spring on us? Yeah, are there any security we, devices we, on the ship? No, there are no security of, devices on the ship. We could just be growing our paranoia. I mean, the best thing you can say, the uh, best thing a GM can say is that, okay, I check for, you check for traps. Oh, there's no one. You don't see any traps. Yes, yeah, so You don't notice happens. any traps. Uh, <laughs> you see no traps. How about you also, we how about you also just have a look at our hyperdrive? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I mean, that. No. Go ahead. Calculon, why don't you also inspect the ship's hyperdrive? Given what happened last time, that would be nice. Sure, I can go do that. I'll roll around to the hyperdrive. Um, can I use your hands for a second? I mean, nice to have ability to use hands on those. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll carry them around the ship and inspect the various things. Yeah, we'll, Ooh, we'll have, start like, the launch procedures because it doesn't make yeah. sense for us to stick around yep. too much. Right. Well, well, yeah. Right. Well, so, he's doing that. So, uh, you know, we radio the launch tower. Let's go inspect uh, that hyperdrive. I'm thinking that's a hard gray. Well, well I mean, this is just maintenance. Well, no, this no, is just to start been... your ship. <laughs> I'm no, 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 I'm expecting a hyperdrive for sabotage after what happened last time. <laughs> Isn't what yeah, happened I'd... last time like somebody rolled a despair? I just want to make sure that we don't take off suddenly, remember. escape the Star Destroyer, and we're bugged. Oh. Yeah. The ship is operating at 100% efficiency. Oh, I good. don't trust you. You even hey. got fuel and everything. They even what? got fuel and everything. Oh. Say, did you turn the handbrake off? Wait, did we, did we stop here with fuel? Yes, because otherwise we wouldn't have gotten into system without fuel. Otherwise we would have just been drifting emptily towards the planet. Somehow it, have more than we started with getting here. It's a fuel, it's a fuel, 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 make it's a fuel tank we, full. Oh, okay, yeah. Gray, uh, shall we make a perception test to elaborate on what you mean? Or well, can you just clarify that? Because there's something off here. Something or at else. least we're... we're... You, you, you're 100 percent ready to fly. There's nothing bad that's going to happen. Not ship anyway. You just make you us... say now. Not sh is he, he said not ship wise anyways. So, so what do you talk? Just... What do you what do you mean? There's a hut in the uh, in our uh, what do you call it? One of the uh, cr uh, ca uh, guest cabins. You did not bring a hut onto my ship. <laughs> we didn't bring a hut. I just got they there. I don't know pilot. what. It... It followed me home. No, no, I was gonna, I was, I was making the joke that Carla was acting on the ship. The, uh, we, we know Carla wants us because he's on the ship here, waiting for us to give us a job. Oh, oh God. Uh, let's start the liftoff procedures. Yep. No check the card for that. Please put all huts in future in the ballast section. We can use them as location. <laughs> yeah. Here we okay, radio up the comms was, tower. No, this is no. the whatever we've redesignated this ship as. Abandon, abandon ship huts and children first. Last? No. Are we clear H for takeoff? Huts and children last. You, you make children just on side huts. Dude, <laughs> huts. <laughs> Okay. Fireball, so, we're gonna right. need so, food at some point. Yo, Gray, Gray, Gray. I want we someone out food. there, one of our nice listeners, to draw a fan art of a hut stuffed into a life pod, and ask me if that's possible. <laughs> Depends how big the life pod is. A standard life pod. Ooh, good luck. Like the that. like the size of the ones that uh that that um R two D two and C three PO got a, got shot out on. You need a very small hut. <laughs> oh, very nice. Right, so hut. we're so we're yeah. launching. Control tower has cleared us. Yep. Yep. 
And then the executive mm-hmm. shows Get up. off this planet. Get on this, with it. This this entire <laughs> segment is gonna be this entire segment is be called unnecessary paranoia. <laughs> Yes, yep. get on with it. No, nothing you're is going to attack you. You're you're in space. You're a legally registered chip leaving the atmosphere. We know yep. it's weird. It's totally right. illegal and nothing at all going wrong at all. No sir. Why no are way. you people saying this? Why? <laughs> Why? Why are there four like... ships in orbit? What? Huh? What? What? Oh, that picture. Oh, well, wait, there's a fourth ship, like, of a sudden, you know, there's enforcer three. class that oh, just showed five. up? All right. Oh, wait. Oh, God, I just thought of something that could have gone horribly wrong. What? what? Well, we haven't rolled Despair yet, so I don't think it's going to happen. No, no, yeah. but, but. The idea, well, the idea is we switched bins with this ship, but it turns out this ship is also wanted by the Imperials. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that would have been a good Despair. But, yeah. Okay. Okay. Wonderful despair. Thankfully. Yeah. I no. I was about to say we one. haven't rolled despair yet, so I think we're safe from that. All right. So you're um, in orbit. There's star destroyers all around you. There's tie fighters all around you, but you're not actively being shot. It's a, it feels weird. Like it's it's as if it should be happening. Yeah. Gritting is a gritting teeth clenching butt. <laughs> Let's yep. keep Just going. No sudden movement. I am currently <laughs> grinding my <laughs> I am no, currently no. grinding my circuits right now. No, no sudden movements. They can sense your fear. Okay, well, the power, power up hyperdrive. Make the calculation. <sighs> I'll I'll do I Clean up in all three, please. Clean up in all three. Calculons are wheeling all over the place again. Hey, <laughs> hey. I don't. I can't oil it right now because it's, I'm only ahead. I am calculating as fast as I can. Um, and actually, do since the plan is to like you know go neener neener neener. Do we want to? Um, would that be like a computer's test to send a com? No, I could. I well, we do have. There's a. We could just well, switch well, our VIN back as soon as we get past the star destroyer. Our yeah. VIN is the same. The bin is the same, we just change the paperwork. Um, we just change the paperwork for what the bin means. Which would probably mean that when the Star Destroyers search for you, they're not actually going to... They're looking for the right number. Yeah, They're looking for the right number associated. I thought the only so thing we means... didn't change was the name. No, no, we changed the data. We, we changed the database on planet. The Star Destroyers have a, a, data, a properly up-to-date database with our name and designation. So unless they're yeah. starting to scan us themselves... Which we're pro- it's probably going to happen after we blast uh, a certain ASCII art. I was wondering if I was going to do Undertale Annoying Dog or uh, another space cock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I got a perfect one. The Give true depth and maturity of the Rebellion's finest. No, Sorry, no, no. Sorry, finest. What a silly mistake. I'm looking for an you ASCII. Lift the, you lift the Empire to join up with us. Yeah. No, wait. Well, no, she Here left, we she left the Empire to join up with the Rebellion. She got stuck with us because she did something that she doesn't want to talk about. I'm just going Ew. to... I'm, basically, I'm, I'm posting it in uh, in Discord right now. I'm going to be sending a giant version of this. Uh, is this going to break my chat box? What? No. Well, no, it's an image. Oh, like an, a- an actual <laughs> rooster. Mm-hmm. No, it's a giant space cock. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Only Vader will get its significance. Yes. <laughs> Only Vader will get its significance. Damn it. Yes. So after that, and then we can we can jet out. But what would you want? Uh, so let's. Well, I'm doing that before when we're already in the the up flight, this hyperdrive, though. I was gonna say, can we at least warm up the hyperdrive and get ready to jump? Yes. Or so... push the button on this. Well, with the, yeah, with the success and three advantages, I mean, we probably have a bit of time before. But well, a bit of time, as in, like, we can warm up the hyperdrive, send it, and then disappear before they can do an effective response. Okay, great. So what goes wrong? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Rampant paranoia. Rampant that's, paranoia. And that's saying, going to be the name name drop of the of the episode. Yep. You jump. <laughs> you kind of like broadcast. The Imperials go weapons heart, start locking <laughs> in on you, and then you jump out. 
<laughs> He's saving the bag for later. Into the executor. <laughs> no, straight into an interdictor. Well, because second to, Death Star. The ass he said no, I mean, I mean by some really weird stroke of orbital or uh, hyperspace mechanics, the executor is going just the other way on the exact same trajectory. We we, we jump out and he, they jump in basically. So anyway, so more men head on collision at hyperdrive speeds, but that's no, very that's, that's, that's that. actually that's actually very. I want to I want to know if we can say likely or unlikely because the re, the hyperspace routes are documented routes of where there is actually nothing in space. So that's why they're so valuable because space has a lot of shit in it. So if two, I mean, it depends on the how large the hyperspace route is. I thought it only really mattered if, if if there was an object with sort of enough mass to yeah, sort of generate it doesn't matter at all. And you pass your thing, so... The, the whole entire thing about the hyperspace lanes and routes are just, those are known paths that are used and, like, don't need to even bother with, uh... Yeah, they're documented. Figuring, as they're, yeah, figuring they're, out they're, how to... They're still light years across, or wide. It's just, they're well known as nothing really gets in here. Um, okay, so where are we going? We're, well, we're, we're worried about leaving. We've probably so we left. Actually, at themselves. this point, we sh we can report back to base, right? Yep. I don't think we have anything yep. else well, outstanding. Question is, are, is, has our astropath picked up the whole Carla thing yet, or what? Astropath. Or what? space telephone. We space knew about phone. that before we left. Right. Well, you probably... You should probably so deal we, with that. Well, the thing, we, the thing about the thing about the um, Star Wars is that there actually isn't a hell of a lot of communi like spaces. communication between places. Like, there's the Hollow Net, but that's almost entirely Imperial traffic now. Yeah, but surely there's like just general faster than light communication. Okay, okay uh, we 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 got the space email. Let's go read it. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say as a matter of course, I set course for Narshada. Just uh, as a busy place to kind of hide our trail. So. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that actually works very well for me. Oh dear. Oh no. You yeah. arrive at Narshadar and you'll get an email ping or whatever you want to call mm. it. We get we get a, a space we get a space book message update. And CN starts yelling, guys, um, we have something from Carla. Right. Yep. Carla, is that somebody's girl? Is that somebody's a significant other? Oh, no, he's certainly significant. <laughs> you do consider him another. <laughs> um, uh, yes, there is a rather formal-looking email. It reads as follows: Exalted <laughs> ones, the privilege and honor of the Grand and Newt power awaits. Know that such an opportunity is presented only to those who have earned the respect and admiration of an illustrious and anonymous benefactor. Do not swander such an opportunity, for it will not be extended again. Your arrival at Wheater Palace of Nal Hutter is expected to no less than a week from the receipt of this invitation. No further contact will be made until the Grandi Nupire has concluded. May fortune favour you. Wait, is this hut A or hut B? So which flavor it's of anonymous. Are we it, in? it literally says anonymous. Oh. <laughs> so wait, but th there is a party. Or okay. Um, average knowledge party. underworld check, please. All right. Um. Somebody okay. aid me on this. Yeah, I'll give you my five int for this. So. Uh. Yeah, you can have a, my three int as well. That's average is too difficulty, right? Too difficulty. Yep. Yeah. And can I? Oh. Nope. As I say, can I take um, Alara's aid as a boost die? Yep. Yep. There you go. So I've heard of this before. Yep. If not, I know most of the details about it. Um, the or granny, at least some of the details yeah, about the it. The Granny New Prayer is a hut tradition. Promising individuals are given a chance to prove themselves against their peers. Uh, to receive such an invitation is considered a great insult to the hut who issued it. So we get to go somewhere and kill some people. It may not necessarily be killing someone. It might be doing whatever he it wants. Hurts. Us to it's do to probably ourselves. killing people. 
It's also, also, but but essentially, we, we've been we've been invited to a contest of prove. Let's see, uh, this hut wants to prove his mooks are better than all the other huts' mooks. Yep. Uh, I see no uh, flaw or possibility of error in this, so we should go. Yeah. So so I, I explained to you like we just got enlisted in like. We need to still Is work there... on our stand, our personal standing with them. So we need to make the, sure that our hut leaders are uh, the, the, the galactic, let's say, the galactic Olympics of the huts. Uh, and like I just explained, wait, like that's what we just got invited to. Wait, and does this mean? Go ahead, I'm sorry. I say refusing is a massive insult to whoever set, whoever did it to us. Does this mean we're going to have to play hut ball? I think that would be probably the most positive outcome. I reckon we're going to be something a lot more nasty than that. If hot ball, in, if hot ball involves holding a thermal detonator no. and playing hot potato with it until it goes off, yes. He needs hot ball from the old republic, I think. Yeah. Which is Which roughly is... holding a hot, holding a hot thermal detonator. And... No, I've, actually, I've actually not played. I've actually not done that, so I have no idea. What Basically, you're... you have two teams on both sides. You have a ball in the middle, and you're trying a very heavy bomb in the middle. And you're basically knifing each other, trying to get the control of the bomb, where you, you know, try to make it across the other person's goal line and throw it into their base. If it's very violent, involved, we cannot be beaten. Very popular. That's yeah. kind of like, oh my god, so the Huts have literally made Team Fortress 2. <laughs> it's yes. more like Griff Ball, but... <laughs> I was going to say, either Griff Ball or that ball game mode they had in Unreal Tournament 2004. One where you sort of shoot it's, it. It's into Griff the, Ball, like, except you can use cold. guns, basically. Which does make it more fun. <laughs> All so, right. so and it makes me. Is there any way we can send message to the? Re Actually, the rebellion's pretty much assuming that. Well, Literally. the leaders of the rebellion are pretty much assuming we're taking care of things on our end, so that their escape. We were given a we were given a level of autonomy within our within the rebellion until they require us to do specific missions of a dubious, suicidal, or both nature. We were given autonomy because nobody wants to take responsibility for our actions. Not too. pretty much. So our uh, actions are kind of horrifying. Let's so go and let's go and maintain yeah. our reputation with the huts. Mm-hmm. Okay, Maybe. two no yes, Let's is. not have Carlos send death squads after us. Oh, please. That would be bad. No, no great. Squad. Well, here's another thing, too. I mean, well, nah. Nah, we can't do that. We can't do that either. Yeah, I'm still trying up. to figure out how, how, to, how to bend the shit, how to bend uh, the huts against the Rebellion. I mean, not the Rebellion, but the Imperials. This well, really isn't was... the time for that. Okay. Yeah. We um, have a tournament to keep, apparently. Yeah, we have a tournament to go to, and we kind of... We can refuse, but that has implications. We're, we're not doing... We're not refusing. We we're are not, not refusing, refusing this. We do oh. not need... H, we do not need assassin mm -hmm. heroes. You all have dragged me into this, and I refuse to do it totally. <laughs> Alright, so... We go and try to... Let's see... So where is where no. where have we been invited to? Well, we got no Hata. Well, no, where on in the Hata. palace? And I'm assuming that there would be guide directions to the palaces when we land. You'll be Gray, greeted, greeted at a starport. Oh right. Uh, Gray, we're not going to deal with that. Car the, the, this whole uh, shindig is between Carla and the the first hut. To have Hut Kane uh, introduced to him, is it? You're not gonna know. Okay. I'm just having that little nightmare in the back of my head. Well, thank you for giving him the idea. Well, I mean, we're we're on the re we're, in, we're, we're on the personal retainership of two huts, and if those It'll two huts. Fine. Well, one hut was also drugged out of his mind when he made that offer, and we never actually did accept it. We just kind of was like, yeah, we'll just scoot on out. However, the problem is that you are right. He is a loose end, and he knows we gave him hut cane. Maybe He's something to do with mother later. of all hangovers. What? What was that, Gray? Maybe, Maybe something we're... to deal with later. Oh, we're God. primarily supplying him to... Oh. You know, 
Um, just a thought to, you know, keep you up at night. Like, it's not yeah. enough already. <laughs> 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 I am the GM's friend, aren't I? You, you give Brand. me so I don't have to do half the work, it's amazing. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, let's... God damn it, God damn it, God damn it. Let's go and, uh... So we're, we're oh, gonna... Uh, our... Chiss or something. Uh, Sabra. Sabra. Ah, yes. We're gonna go arrive on, the, uh... The Chiss are the blue people. Yeah. Yes. Um, so, he's... He will greet you when you land. Uh, you know, you you're given a docking port to land at. You land there. He's waiting. Um, he kind of like walks up to you. He's got a limp. His um, horns are cracked. He's got scar down one side of his face. Um, he's from the old republic. The hell, possibly. <laughs> it's quite hard to find photos of these guys, especially with scars. Yeah. Um, there you go, he says, ah, welcome. I shall be your assistant for this. Um, you have been given the honour of attending a Granny, Nup uh, Granny Nupa. So, um, I'm here to explain the rules, get you there, and guide you through as well as I can. And hopefully, with some luck, you'll survive to the other side. Please yeah. and thank you. Question, question, like, since the last time we I met our b wonderful benefactor, I had a body, currently I am cur uh, having a problem state with that. Any you could say he's having an out-of-body experience. No, I just got ahead of myself. Um, so, I need, uh, is there any uh, uh, spare you could facilitate me with? If we're um, doing physical activities. Yes, I'm sure we can find something off the junk keep for you. Again, I can just carry you around on my back or something. You don't have a... I, I see, I, I see, you don't just have as an aside, support. just as a player aside, how much you want to bet this character, this guy's survival is kind of predicated on our survival, so he wants to make us succeed? Either that or he's working for somebody else. Yes and yes. <laughs> At the same time. It's it's one of those two. It's one of those two. Just because that's how huts roll. It's like this guy is helping us because otherwise he's murdered, or this guy's helping us because he was told to, and also he's helping us. He's trying to make us fail because another hut has kind of blackmailed him into doing so. Mm. That, is, that is the way we are dealing with multiple crimes and uh, <coughs> citadels gets. Anyway, let's, uh, let's actually, I'm not let's sure actually if I begin know this personally, but still, that's that's how I view as a player what's probably let's, going to happen. Let's as a as a scenario. Let's let's, let's actually watch this as a scenario and see what has it. Uh, okay, he's so. going to. Um, <coughs> he'll take you to like a, a holding area, like an apartment, um, a jail. Yeah, we still have a week before the arrival of the others. Uh, you seem to have turned up well on time, which is good. Uh, means I could spend more time prepping you before the um, arrival at Wita Palace in the night. Night? Yeah, the, the night of the party. Oh, okay. So, I... what do these games consist of? Um, so, the rules are as follows. Once a group of invitees has entered the Grand Anupa, they are not allowed mm -hmm. to leave. Any participants attempt to leave before the closing ceremony will be assumed to be forfeiting their own lives, and they will be killed or enslaved at the whim of the huts. Uh, the number of attendees will depend on uh, how many huts are taking part. Um, I think at the moment we're down for three or four groups, depending how many will turn up. Um, we have four invited, but so far one has refused the invitation. Uh, we're hoping they'll change their mind. They have a week. You're allowed to take whatever weapons uh, you have and items. Uh, killing of attendees except in self-defense is only permitted during specific events of the evening. Um, it's not, so good it's not good manners okay. to kill other people. Don't go so killing off the dance floor, gotcha. So we can't right. find where they would be staying and say rig their apartment. 
Well, we could. We could, we could, rig, we well, we could, could rig their apartments, but are also you know contaminate their gear and stuff like that. But no well, murder. I, I was going to say we could you know try and have accidents happen or poison, but again, that's the same sort of shit they're going to p- pull with us. And also the kind of shit that the marshals are wanting to be watching out for as well. So and he's, he's also not going to tell you who they are. Well, sure. But, but if anyone arrives with a hut retinue, then we can assume. Well, it... And it's reasonable to assume that if they start firing a heavy laser at us, they're probably not friendly. What did I miss? Um, we're here, we have this guy, he's essentially our handler, uh, who's going to be helping us. part. Um, the rules are... You can, we can take whatever weapons and gear we have on us right now, uh... Killing or attacking other players, except in self-defense, is not allowed, except during the events that that happens. Oh, is it is it possible to do some uh, shopping while we are here to acquire equipment? Is there a uh, preparation budget? It's now Hutta. I'm pretty sure we would have at least a little bit of time to do that. Yep, but there is no mm-hmm. budget for this. Aww. Yeah, the, the, we, yeah it's it whatever itself. with our own funds we got. But some of us have money lying around. Yeah. Yes. Like money for a thermal detonator or a missile launcher. Okay, and so how do we win this event? You survive the night. Um, You make it through the um, various events. I don't know what they are um, ahead of time. Uh, And make it to the closing ceremony. So basically... Hack your way out of the garbage, the the garbage disposal that you've been placed in, or some stuff like that. Well, essentially, they keep throwing all the teams at various challenges until everybody dies or one team is left. I was about to say, actually, does that technically mean only one team can win, or if two teams are still alive at the closing ceremony, are they both technically deemed successful? Uh, we have some they... death overtime at that point. Yeah. Okay. Sudden death overtime. I love it. Well, it's very literal. You can't. You you, you can't <laughs> fault it for. Uh, no, but I actually naked. think. Of, I'm sorry, I didn't actually think about it. Like of the sudden death part, because yeah. it would be really sudden death. I suppose. Yeah, it would be. You wouldn't be suffering very long. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe they would. The methods. Oh God. <sighs> so, is there anything you want to do in between? We've yeah. got all the shopping until it starts, right? Plug me into a port so I can do some research on the comp- on the people who have been sent out. Do we have a list of uh, uh, invitees? Mm, probably not. I think, well, given that they've deliberately said they're not telling us who the other combat groups are, I think it's reasonable well, to assume... Well, the other combat groups, but I'm talking about the actual invi- invited huts, so we can actually make assumptions of dependent upon their, uh, their realms of influence what they would be bringing to the table. <laughs> so, hmm. um, yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Gray, would you like to uh, see what flavors of mook we're going to be dealing with? What do you mean? Would that be um, would that be available to have the to to know or acquire the list of huts that would be attending? So he doesn't know it. Titus? So you have you don't even know where to look. Well, we could always. Uh, this uh, isn't the sort of thing that they advertise. Well, yeah. well we yeah. could. It probably is, but they well, don't they're they're going to they're, they're gonna be advertising. They're they're going to be advertising at the end, but they're not going to pull their. They're, they're not going to, going to tip their hand early because they don't want to give anybody an unfair advantage yeah. unless they figure but it that's, out. We're Allow someone else to make a underworld check if they wish. I will do it. I will throw an assist. Yeah, uh, not someone that you you already made one, so you can't make one, Heinrich. So, okay. Someone else. You, you've exhausted your limit. Okay. All right, so like, Atten and Alara. Yeah. Prevent the. I'll give you. You're looking for um, advantages <coughs> or a uh, triumph here to get triumph. more information. Okay. Yeah. Um. Because I just got hit, guys? which means I know what the event is, but I don't know who's you don't probably know in this one. Yeah. Okay. okay. What's the difficulty on that? Average. I'll consider this research. Well, it's not much else, is it? Okay, one second. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Hey, Trey, is that you know that, Do you have that old picture of the yeah. Wally bot? Um, yeah, I think I do. Can I get that one so I can well, see that's my buddy? Well, I think we're good. I'm not going to bother rolling. Yeah, you get the show. Um, one second while I just hunt down this Wally picture. Like you can send it across so I can uh, have that for Calculon's current uh, conveyance. I think I have it. 